In perturbation theory, the Poincare Lindstedt method or Lindstedt Poincare method is a technique for uniformly approximating periodic solutions to ordinary differential equations, when regular perturbation approaches fail. The method removes secular terms terms growing without bound arising in the straightforward application of perturbation theory to weakly nonlinear problems with finite oscillatory solutions. The method is named after Henry Poincare and Anders Lindstedt. Topic example, the duffing equation The undamped, unforced duffing equation is given by x plus x plus epsilon x3 equals 0 display style ddot x plus x plus var epsilon x caret 3 equals 0, for t greater than 0, with 0 x 0 equals 1, display style x 0 equals 1, x 0 equals 0. Display style dot x zero equals zero. A perturbation series solution of the form x t equals x zero t plus epsilon x one t plus is sought. The first two terms of the series are x t equals cos t plus epsilon one thirty two. Cos three T minus Cos T minus three eight T sin T plus Display style x t equals cos t plus var epsilon left t f r a c one thirty two left cos three t cos t right t f r a c three eight t sin t right plus c d o t s. This approximation grows without bound in time, which is inconsistent with the physical system that the equation models. The term responsible for this unbounded growth, called the secular term, is t sin t. The Poincare Lindstedt method allows for the creation of an approximation that is accurate for all time, as follows. In addition to expressing the solution itself as an asymptotic series, form another series with which to scale time t. Tau equals omega t. Display style tau equals omega t, where omega equals omega zero plus epsilon omega one plus display style omega equals omega underscore zero plus var epsilon omega underscore one plus c d o t s for convenience, take omega zero equals one because the leading order of the solution's angular frequency is one. Then the original problem becomes omega two x tau plus x tau plus epsilon x three tau equals 0 display style omega caret 2 x tau plus x tau plus var epsilon x caret 3 tau equals 0 with the same initial conditions now search for a solution of the form x tau equals x 0 tau plus epsilon x 1 tau plus the following solutions for the zeroth and first order problem in epsilon are obtained: x zero equals cos tau and x one equals one thirty two cos three tau minus cos tau plus omega one minus three eight tau sin tau. Display style begin aligned x underscore zero and equals cos tau text and x underscore one and equals tfrac one thirty two left cos three tau cos tau right plus left omega underscore one TFRAC three eight right tau sin tau end aligned so the secular term can be removed through the choice omega one equals three eighths. Higher orders of accuracy can be obtained by continuing the perturbation analysis along this way. As of now, the approximation 
correct up to first order in epsilon is x t approximately equals cos 1 plus 3 8 epsilon t plus 1 32 epsilon cos 3 1 plus 3 8 epsilon t minus cos 1 plus 3 8 epsilon t Display style x t approx cos b i g l left one plus t f r a c three eight var epsilon right t big r plus t f r a c one thirty two var epsilon left cos b i g l three left one plus t f r a c three eight var epsilon right t big r cos b i g l left one plus t f r a c three eight var epsilon right t big r right References and notes <references>